probably most of the feelings that you are feeling whether desperate lows of thinking that you are just utterly hopeless and ought to give up or the absolute highs of having made the breakthrough and made your contribution are all um, just part of the PhD journey and something which we're all going through together. And most importantly, I've learnt that we're all the same, that we have the same blocks and barriers and it's just a process you have to get through and not to make it too hard. One step at a time. You just, you just have to do it, just a little bit. You don't have to take it all on at once. Like, celebrate what you do achieve each day and don't beat yourself up about what you don't achieve. Try and set your own boundaries. It's something I struggle with a lot. I go way too far in way too much detail. I need, you know, to color in between the lines. And for supervisors, my advice would be the same in the sense, like, try to offer some boundaries for your students that work for them because some people just can't do it only by themselves. If you're just starting, do get to know your supervisor before you begin. To have a good advisor, it's really important. Maybe one of the one of the most important stuff. The interaction I'm having with my students as I experience the MOOC has become increasingly reflective. My my advice to any university is build a community. Don't expect your students to be able to do it. Uh, I don't think it's their responsibility. It might be their responsibility to continue it on once you've seeded that community. Um, but the community itself has to be uh, the university's first priority if they're looking into the, the, the health and welfare of their students. You really just get involved in the opportunities as they arise and reaching out and making new contacts um, using things like Twitter or at conferences, uh, or just by email too, it can lead to some really exciting opportunities down the track. Figure out which problems belong to you and which belong to other people. Uh, uh, you can do something about the ones that belong to you, the ones that belong to other people, leave those for them. Certainly it's difficult in the university culture to remember to take time out to care for yourself because it is a bit countercultural. Uh, but I think it's really important. I recently downloaded a mindfulness app onto my iPad and I'm going to um, see how it goes with managing uh, all these emotions. Is that to take some time to empty your mind and think about something else than your experiment because I think we all dream about that already. So for me it's horse riding because uh, you cannot really think of something else when you're on a horse, uh, otherwise, well, may turn bad for you, I would say. But um, yeah, find an activity that keeps your mind away from your study at least once a week. If animals are the kind of thing that you're into, uh, I think they're really fantastic because they won't ever ask you how your PhD is going. All that they will do is come and um, and comfort you when you need a cuddle. To speak to your senior peers as often as possible. So those that are halfway through or more or about to submit um, and get lots of tips and advice and help from them so that you can have a nice support um, group. Seek out help, like this course. There is lots of help available, but often it, you only get to it what if you seek it out yourself and make the first steps? Having someone who understands how human minds work a bit better than you do can be a really valuable resource. So I'm a big fan of, um, of professional counselling services. Um, also think about all the other skill sets that you're going to need. So for example, I think I use about 22 pieces of software in my teaching. So whatever the gaps are in your, in your personal experience and knowledge, um, I think understand what the job is that you want to do and, and go and have a look at what's required of that much earlier on. Yeah, enjoy it too because, you know, it took me a while to realise that you were allowed to enjoy it. It seemed like you had to suffer to be good or something, but, you know, you can have fun. And I think try and enjoy, enjoy the journey, um, whether it's... <laughs> Heaven or heaven or hell is um, largely down to your attitude towards it. 
our PhD is really personal and it's so intensive and time consuming that it's probably not worth doing unless you're, you get real satisfaction out of the work and you look forward to doing it every morning. Maybe not most, not every day, but most days. <laughs> it's important to take pleasure uh, during doing research because otherwise you you can drop uh, easily your PhD and the last thing is that to never give up. Take some time to appreciate and enjoy life uh, in order to survive this PhD we've got to enjoy it. I guess I would say just try to enjoy it all. Now I get my silly hat on. Um, we've talked a lot in this MOOC about the challenges of doing a PhD but remember you do have three years of your life to devote to a topic hopefully you find quite interesting. Hopefully you can find something in there that is still a little bit fun and fires you up. So just really make the most of it, uh, make the most of that time.